Alright, so we're going to run a kill switch from the battery to the fuse panel. Fuse panel is right here. Alright, so what we're going to do is attach a cable here. This red cable right here is going to go to the battery. And then we're going to run another red cable straight to the fuse block. Which will be one of these ends. That way, when you switch it off, it kills the connection between the two you turn it on it feeds the power to this one that goes to the fuse block that way you can kill your battery in case you have some kind of draw or you don't have to worry about any kind of fires or anything like that and then we're just going to attach this one to this stud i have right here right next to the battery all right so let's go ahead and do this side right here and we can put it in all right y'all see that i got this lead that'll go to the positive side of the battery and the bottom one is going to the fuse block. Now all I gotta do is run a cable from the negative side of the fuse block to the negative side of the battery. And then we can go ahead and put this in. I'm gonna put it right in here next to the battery. That way everything is gonna be, it's pretty tight quarters in here as you can see. So I gotta kinda figure out where everything can go right now. But I wanna go ahead and run that to here. Then I can take the battery out, give me a little more room, and I'll go ahead and put my fuse block down. All right. I'm gonna get this battery out of the way and we can go ahead and Screw this down. Got some of these little cheapo lights. I want to put one in both of these little hatches. This one I'm going to put kind of in the middle. I'm going to drill me a hole out for the wires to go through. And then just to drill two self-tapping screws to hold the light in place. And then... Pretty much same thing over here. We'll have to figure out where to put it though because this is cramp. Very, very tight quarters on this side. We'll figure it out.
All right, so I still got a lot of cleaning up to do in here. As you can see, it looks like a rat's nest. But everything is wired up that I have on the boat right now. Uh, just to go ahead and I'll give an overview one more time about how to wire a boat up. What you want to do is like whatever your accessory is, say it's those lights right there on the sides. You run them and then the wires that come off of whatever accessory you're putting on, you will run to your switch. Now, like these switches had three prongs. The top prong was like the power, the bottom prong was the ground, and the middle prong is where you put, you tie in your accessory, whatever you're trying to give power to. Now, if you want all of your accessories to run off of one fuse, that's fine. You just use that one prong. Uh, like this switch was all looped together. All the switches were tied to one. You have like at the very end, you had one red and one black, which you would run to your fuse block. If you want them to all be separate, what you do is where it loops from the red to red, just snip that and then run that red to your fuse block. And then the other red that goes to the next switch will run to the fuse block. That way it separates it. You'll have a fuse for each individual switch, if that makes any sense. Okay, so you run whatever you're trying to power to your switch and then from your switch, you run to your fuse block and then your fuse block is powered to your kill switch if you're running the kill switch and your kill switch goes to your battery all right so like right now see i've got the kill switch off so i shouldn't be able to turn anything on see nothing's coming on but now go ahead and turn your kill switch on giving power to your fuse block Everything should come on now. So you got a little light on. Anchor lights on. And my navigation lights are on. All right, now this switch should be my little interior lights. That one's working. And that one's working. Next switch would be the bilge pump. It's working. And this switch should be the interior lights. And they're all working too. And I have one more right here. I'm thinking about putting like a spotlight right here in the front of the boat, kind of sitting right in the middle. I think that'd be a kind of cool little addition. Um, but I don't know, I haven't ordered one yet, but I've got that switch wired to the fuse block you see i got a spotlight so all i really got to do is if i get one mount it and then the two lead wires that come off of it the ground obviously will go to the fuse block and then the red will go to the back of the switch and that'll work all right let's uh clean this up a little bit looks like crap i haven't mentioned a trolling motor for this boat yet and i don't think i'm going to put one on it when i sell it unless I come across a good deal on one. The way I have it set up, I have it set up for a hand controlled trolling motor. That's why I have this seat kind of up high. I just feel like it would be good for a trolling motor. You know, with how narrow the front of this boat is, I think uh, having a little hand controlled trolling motor would be good for this boat, the way it's, just the way it's shaped. I think it would, uh, would work out better than a foot controlled. Foot control is gonna take up so much more room uh, and it already isn't that much room up here to begin with. In my mind, it's going to be a hand-controlled trolling motor. Um, and when, if I take it out, I'm going to use the one on my orange boat just to throw on here. I and mean, I still have to build some kind of way to attach it, the trolling motor, to the, the side of the boat somehow. Or I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But I want to go ahead and throw one of these on here. Uh, this is just a trolling motor plug. I'm going to put it in that little that little triangle dead space that's in the very front. Uh, all I'm going to have to do is just drill a, a hole in it, sink it down, attach it with two screws. I have this wire left over from uh, the battery leads, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and run them towards the back. I don't think the red one is long enough to attach to the battery, but 
Uh, we'll, we'll see if I can get it to where they'll attach, you know, I'll go ahead and hook those up to the battery too. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and do that. That way, you know, it'll be real clean for whoever does add a trolling motor to this boat or might, you know, maybe I'll come across a good deal tomorrow. You know, your trolling motor has two wires, you know, that goes to the negative and positive. So all you'll have to do is just pick up one of these little plugs. Like that trailer motor on that orange boat, it just has two little eyelets that go over your posts on your battery. So you just cut those off and wire in for one of these little plug-in things. I just, I just think it would be a lot cleaner. And not to mention, if you're running a trailer motor like that up front on the boat, uh, you know, you'll have to throw another battery in or something or have that hatch open and it, it'll just, like I said, it'll be a lot cleaner to do it like this. So let's do it. All right, we'll wait till we get the hydro turf in to secure this. That way we don't have to cut around it. We can just lay the hydro turf, cut that circle out, then attach it that way. It'd be a lot easier on us. But that's gonna work. I think my leads are long enough to make it to the battery too. So cool. All right, if you feel a little uncomfortable doing the wiring on a boat, don't worry, you're not by your lonesome. Uh, this is the third boat I've done that I've ran electrical components in and this time was the easiest. I feel like it finally clicked and I didn't really have to scratch my head as much. It's just, uh, you know, something I don't deal with on a day-to-day -day basis or, you know, very often, I guess. It's nothing that you can't do. It just takes a little time. Nothing really different on this boat than the other two boats that I wired up. It's just finally starting to click for me. <laughs> I've never been a big fan of electrical work, so... Uh, I'm kind of happy that this one felt a little more comfortable doing. It's nothing really crazy on this boat. Like I said, I'd like to add a, a light to the front, and I've already run the wires for it, you know, so it'll be an easy hookup if I do decide to do that. And then the trailer motor thing, um, I'll wait for the hydro turf to get in to finally to really finish the install on it, which I think this video is going to be after I put hydro turf in. So. I'm kind of doing these backwards right now. It's been raining. I wanted to do the hydro turf this morning, but it's been raining and I need my driveway. I need to get out there to lay the hydro turf out and mark it and cut it. And that's what I'm fixing to do now because it looks like it's uh, cleared off. This video is going to end, but my work for the day isn't going to end. So like I said, this video will be after the hydro turf one. Really the next step would be uh, mounting the motor on. And I got a couple things I want to do to it. And really, that's that's about it. We're gonna wrap this sucker up. I'm I'm glad for it. I'm ready to take this boat out and also put it for sale. All right, guys, I really appreciate it. See you on the next one.